there thanks for joining me on today's instagram live today we're going to be talking about the best way to clean your floor and i, I know that this sounds quite obvious but actually there's loads of different ways and loads of different kind of approaches for both domestic environments and for industrial factory environments so I'm going to try to cover them all off today to kind of give you an overview of the kind of advice that we give here and also the kind of machines that we sell, mops, etc. that we sell to cover different kind of areas. So sit down, get a cup of coffee and um, prepare to be, prepare to learn some stuff. So follow us on Instagram follow us on Facebook and uh, we also have a YouTube channel that you can subscribe to where we upload all of this. If you do want to be in receipt of our mailers, which we kind of send out on a weekly basis with our vlog and our blog attached, then um, pop us a little note um, directly like DM us and we'll add you to the mailing list. Okay, so let's begin. So floor cleaning the best way for you. Now, this has not been written by me. This has been written by um, Ria. Um, she's done a really good job of this vlog, this blog. So I'm going to turn it into a vlog. So as somebody who is a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to cleaning, and anybody who knows me knows that this is true, and anybody that has watched any of my videos knows that this is true, um, I'm not even ashamed of it either. Um, the choosing the right kind of approach and the right tool for the job it is really important in terms of making it as easy as possible. So during the course of this vlog, I'm going to be talking about um, mopping, vacuuming, dust mopping, ca carpet cleaning machines and scrubber dryers. So kind of most of the stuff at the start of the vlog will be quite familiar, but stuff towards the end probably won't be very familiar to um, everybody, certainly. So mopping. So whether it's cleaning domestically or if you're going to be mopping a large kind of area of floor, um, choosing the right kind of mop is important for the right kind of area. So let me give you some examples. So in a kind of um, uh, area where there are a lot of lo lo linoleum floors, easy for me to say, lino linoleum floors, um, I would recommend using a flat mopping system. So you can get flat mops that you basically Velcro to the frame. So it's a flat mop with a, a frame. You Velcro it to the frame. You can basically put your rubber gloves on if you're kind of in a domestic environment and make up a solution and put it in the, the sink um, and then wring it out and then whop it on the floor and stick it to your mop and off you go with it. Or you can get um, kind of mopping systems with mop, mopping buckets where you kind of break the mop into, so it's on a break frame, so the frame effectively breaks like that, and then you wring out the mop that's hanging down in kind of a, like a, a press, and then um, you snap it back together, it becomes straight again, and you go off on it. So flat mopping is um, a really good system, and it's a really hygienic system, because these mop heads can just be taken off, put, popped in the washing machine, and washed for up to 500 times. Because they're made of microfiber, they are really, really low lint. So they leave kind of no um, residue behind, no um, cottony kind of stuff behind, and they don't leave anything in your washing machine. So really good. And they can also be tumble dried on a low heat. So that's, that's a really good um, mopping system. <clears throat> Another one that we use um, in kind of larger kind of areas, like I suppose like town halls or um, like school gyms would be a Kentucky mop. So these are the mops that are kind of like They've got really long threads on them. They're quite heavy. They come like in 12 ounce and 16 ounce. So quite a heavy mopping system. They're a large mop, so they cover a large area of floor. And these again are wrung out through a press system also. Um, so again, a, a kind of a different approach. And you need to obviously buy the Kentucky mop, the Kentucky mop fitting and the Kentucky mop bucket at the same time to allow you to use it. Um, other mopping systems that we um, that we would kind of advocate would be a cloth mopping system. So that's quite similar to uh, a Vileda mop. What we find here is that Vileda mops are, um, they've kind of got a very short kind of life in terms of use. So we obviously sell professional solutions. So we've got one that's similar to a Vileda mop, 
but is um, has a much longer kind of life. So that would be a cloth mop. These are all going to be tagged in the comments as well. And um, we also have um, the you know the, the standard kind of twine mops that you can take off. You can put them in the washing machine, but they are quite heavy and lint. So if you are going to be washing our our um, standard kind of twine mops, I would either have a dedicated washing machine for that or get some of those little um, little discs that kind of gather up all the lint inside your machine so it doesn't spread amongst your clothing or you'll have to rinse your machine out afterwards. Um, so they can be machine washed at quite a high temperature as well, kind of for um, thermal disinfection. So that's mopping. Vacuum, cl vacuum cleaners, um, now in the, in the blog, Ria has mentioned um, the Henry vacuum cleaner, which we do sell. Henry's are um, a domestic vacuum cleaner designed for kind of domestic environments. A lot of kind of professional environments do um, make the mistake of buying a Henry vacuum cleaner. A lot of them buy a Henry vacuum cleaner on the internet. Um, and when you're getting a Henry vac from the internet and not from a kind of a listed distributor like we are, um, you have real difficulty getting them to honour the warranty. So make sure that you're buying it from um, a proper distributor um, and one that will honour the warranty. So if you buy a Henry vac from us, we have a really good relationship with Pneumatic. So if you buy a Henry vac and for whatever reason it breaks, um, we'll um, honour the warranty, we'll send out the engineer, even after the warranty is over, we'll send out the engineer and we'll negotiate on the price for you to make sure that you're not paying over the odds. And we also stock the kind of, the bits and pieces that kind of make a Henry work, like a sp extra hoses or spare hoses or spare kind of heads, you know, when they break. So Henry's are, um, you know, they do have quite a, a, a shelf life. Um, but these are the areas that it would probably break down first, so you could just replace them um, through ourselves and they're listed on our website as well. Um, so if you're kind of a non-professional, um, if, if you are a professional and you want something that's going to have a bit more of a, a longer shelf life than a Henry, come and speak to us um, and I'll give you um, some advice on the kind of machines that um, we can offer you. Um, we not only sell the machines, we can arrange demonstrations of the machines free of charge. So we have an engineer, a pneumatic engineer that comes out to your location, will demonstrate the machine for you, demonstrate what it's good at, be honest about what it's not good at, what it's for, um, and kind of show you the, um, the things that it's best at and how it can really help and improve um, your overall cleaning regime. So I do that a lot. Um, and then you are basically order through us and I help you with the maintenance, etc. of the machine. So we've got a number of kind of machines that we've sold that we, um, you know, regularly kind of maintain and service, etc. through ourselves here at Astral Hygiene. So vacuum cleaners, there are various different sizes, different bag sizes for various different carpets, for various different purposes from you know, valley machines um, that you would use for specifically for a car to you know, a much bigger, more powerful industrial machine that you would use on you know, big, deep carpet piles. So yeah, come and speak to me and I will make some recommendations for you and arrange a demo if you like. Um, so we've, we also sell um, backpack vac machines. So Pneumatic and Tasky do um, back vacs, they're called. Um, I quite like that. Um, and they, you know, you basically, they're, they're battery powered. You can walk up and down stairs with them, you know, and these are really popular in kind of um, places where you're kind of hoovering up and down stairs on various floors. The battery lasts for quite a substantial amount of time and charges quite quickly. So they are quite convenient um, and um, allow you to kind of get into all the nooks and crannies without having a cable um, trailing around the place which obviously is a health and safety concern if there are people kind of milling about the area that you're cleaning. Um, so that's vacuums. Um, dust mopping, we've got a couple of different kind of options. We've got kind of um, the, so the dust mops are the long ones that are on a pole. They've kind of got loops on them and you just basically push them around the floor and they pick up um, what's in their path. Um, so whether that be dirt, dust or um, whatever kind of is, is loose, Kind of soil on top of the floor and then you can go back on after it with a mop. Um, 
very good at um, for, for kind of large areas. For much larger areas, we've kind of got a V sweeper, so it's a V and it just kind of sweeps everything in its path. That's a really good um, kind of solution as well for um, kind of larger areas of floor. Um, so, so they're really good for kind of, you know, preparing to mop. Um, and in terms of carpet cleaning machines, so in terms of extraction machines, so carpet extraction machines, we, we do a whole range of them um, from very small ones to very large ones um, for different kind of environments and um, with different kind of um, side tank sizes, etc. We do kind of three in one, four in one. So by three in one, four in one, I mean kind of hoover, extract, wash, and then we've got four in one that's hoover, extract, wash, and spray, spray water and solution on things also. So yeah, come and talk to us about that also. Um, a couple of um, the the final kind of section that I'd like to talk to you about in this is um, scrubber dryer machines. So scrubber dryer machines are they're the kind of large ones that you push along in front of yourself. So these are very much for domestic and professional environments. Um, they they have um, various kind of things at the front. So they've either got a a, a poly scrub brush at the front which at the front of the machine goes round and round and round. It's very hard. It's for kind of um, surfaces like concrete, etc., where you really need to scrub the, the stewer or the stain or the oil or whatever it is that you're looking to move um, off. Um, or you can replace that with a pad drive and a pad. So the pads do kind of various um, things. So for kind of general purpose, kind of cleaning, we put a red pad on. So the rule of thumb with pads are the darker the pad, the more abrasive it is going to be on the surface. So for example, if you're looking to take floor polish off a floor, you'd use a very dark pad, i.e. a black pad, which is just basically going to scratch the polish off the floor and clean the floor while you're at it. To clean a floor and maintain a floor, you'd put a red pad on. So red pad just basically agitates it enough to lift the dirt off without scratching the surface of the, the, uh, the floor. If you were going to be applying polish with um, a pad, you'd need to put on a white pad, which is the, the least agitated, and that basically just puts the polish on a very, very high speed. So it needs to be RPM of about 300 to um, be putting polish on. So, so the scrubber dryers have basically have a pad on the front or a poly scrub brush. So basically water's introduced and then the movement agitates the, the stewer and the, the dirt and the, um, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to pick up off the floor. And then basically the squeegee sent it back to, towards the back of the machine where it's sucked up. So basically as you're moving across the floor, all of this is going on underneath your machine. And as, at the end of your machine, your floor is bone dry and clean. So that's why you find these kind of machines in hospitals or where place, places where people are moving about. And it can really have great results. We had a, a demonstration fairly recently in a place where <clears throat> there was a very high footfall, a huge amount of people coming in and out, and they'd just been kind of cleaning it with a mop. Um, we came in with a scrubber dryer, um, I think it was the... Um, it was a pneumatic scrubber dryer, the TT1840 ONX. We um, demoed there and the results were absolutely amazing. And they were really, really impressed with that. Um, so if you do want to see a demo of a scrubber dryer, then um, please do drop us a DM and um, I'll set that up for you. Um, so remember that if you are cleaning floors with several different surfaces, you need to be choosing a machine that is suitable for both of those surfaces or all of the surfaces. And if you do need a machine that requires a power source, make sure that there's a power supply around or consider a backpack or something that operates on a battery. We do um, Henry Hoovers with batteries. We do the backpacks. A lot of our scrubber dryers are um, battery powered. And we do sell an awful lot of scrubber dryers to swimming pools also as well, so they can go up and down the sides of the pool. And as long as you're using an appropriate chemical to break down the body fat and the stewer and the lime scale and stuff, um, that isn't going to um, affect the, the, the pH of the pool, um, which we also sell here, then um, it's a product called Cell Active. Um, then they can be used up and down the side of the pool without any kind of um, problem. Most of the water goes back into the machine anyway. So um, yeah, we've had a lot of success with that. 
and make sure that um, the machine that you're buying is cost effective and come and talk to kind of an expert um, like us here at Astral Hygiene where we can really give you some sound advice and listen I'm not saying that I'm an expert on absolutely everything but I do have expertise at my fingertips through my suppliers so you know if I don't know the answer I can certainly find the answer out for you um, and um, make sure that you're choosing the correct equipment and making sure that everybody is fully trained on it. So that's all for me. Um, any questions, send us a DM. If you want a demo of a machine, send us a DM. We'll be linking in lots of products down below. Thanks so much. Bye.